Welcome back to episode number five of the Meltdown Podcast. I'm your host, Hyro, or you could call me Glyphix, alongside my co-host, Zach Fight and DJ Joe Green. This Meltdown Podcast is sponsored by Twisted Tea. Keep it twisted. The number one selling hard iced tea. Find a Twisted Tea near you at TwistedTea.com. We're here today with professional hockey player, goaltender of the Vegas Golden Knights, Logan Thompson. Welcome to the podcast, man. Yeah, thanks. No, happy to be here. Um, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm happy to have you. Um, we've been waiting. Uh, we've been excited, dude, and we're ready to rock and roll, man. Yeah, thanks so, for taking the time. Yeah. Yeah. No, of course. Uh, anytime. Cool. Uh, so, Zach, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, you could start off the questions first, huh? All right. So, we kind of wanted to talk talk about your pre-career. It's a little bit of digging. What little bit you can find. I saw you grew up in Canada. So, it's like a lot different from here, which is really cool. Um, so, what was it like growing up in Canada? Uh, it's a lot different. Um, you know, I've played in the U.S. now for, you know, four years. Um, and so, you kind of learn uh, how different it is. I mean, I grew up on skates. Um I've been skating and playing hockey since I was like two years old. Um, and so she's coming to Vegas. They just kind of got hockey late. Um, you can tell how passionate the city is, but you know, they're always a little late to the game and there isn't many rinks and Vegas is starting to, they realize the love for hockey. So I think it's just a different culture here. They, they want to grow the game here and Canada, all we are is hockey. So there's a rink on every, every corner, right? So everyone can skate in here. Vegas eventually will be like that, I think. So that'd be awesome. Yeah. That'd it's be growing great. fast. Yeah, Super fast. absolutely. See, I, that's like, it's baseball for me back home. So like I had a baseball bat in my hand before I could walk. And nice. I had like little T. So I, like, I understand <laughs> yeah, that part. My kid has a uh, uh, Xbox control in his hand before <laughs> yeah. he could walk. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's kids are making enough. money from it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Six, true. 16 years old and $3 million bought his parents like a house. So put the who's doing smart with it, put the rest of it in savings. Yeah, so. I can get jiggy with that. I'll totally let my kid buy me a house for a <laughs> Schools are doing scholarships now, aren't they? Yeah, yeah really? Yeah, for That's sure. huge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. Maryville is the big one. If you've heard of Maryville, uh, I don't know where they're at. I just know it's the name of the school. <laughs> yeah, I know uh, UNLV has their own like club here and they're trying to do scholarships. So it's getting big, man. It is, absolutely. Yeah. yeah it's nice. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I guess leading into like as a kid, right? Um, for us, we grew up playing video games. What did you do for fun at, like, as a kid growing up there, man? Oh, I, I played, I grew up playing video games as well. Um, so I was, you know, at the rink and then go home and, and play video games with the, my teammates after practice. If uh, the Xbox 360 was what I kind of grew up on and the Xbox, the, the original. So that's kind of Halo and those type of games grew up on those. So nice, yes. dude. You got a favorite Halo? I liked Halo too. Yeah, Halo Halo yeah, 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 nice. No, I like Halo 2. That's aw- that's awesome, bro. Just yeah. starting off with Halo 2, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, take one. Yeah. Whatever you guys want. Um, okay, so I guess leading into that then, um, because these questions are kind of all over the place. So going back into this precursor side of things, how did how did you kind of get into hockey like growing up? What did what kind of transitioned that phase? I kind of started with my my dad, um, just going to the rink and basically just throwing me on the ice and saying, learn to skate. And <laughs> me being younger, I really had no idea. But then I en- eventually fell in love with the game and met a lot of people and um, always liked the look of goalies. Um, the goalie gear always kind of looked cool to me. I had really no idea the position and just wanted to, wanted to look cool. And my dad eventually bought me a set of goalie pads and um, was okay at getting hit with pucks and kind of stuck with it for the rest of my life, basically. Never, never, uh, never turned back. So nice. Did you ever pull like a happy Gilmore and just stand in front of a baseball machine? No, I never did that. No. <laughs> Give me your best. Yeah, <laughs> probably should though. We got a baseball game coming up. So. Oh yeah, uh, Battle for Vegas, right? Yeah, that's right, absolutely. I'm yeah. if you're gonna. Uh, are you you're playing? Yeah, I'm playing it. Yeah, nice. I'm really excited. So I'm oh. I'm not a good baseball or softball player, but I mean I'm first, excited. First, so. first base man. You got yeah, a yeah. Uh, preferred walk up song? Oh, I didn't even think about that. I got to <laughs> do some brainstorming for sure. I'll check in with you later. I'll mm-hmm. be there. I'll be on the tunes. So I know that was something we heard about and we were going to go to and I think one of the goals is to get invited yeah. for for Vegas Fair. I want to play in it. Those games are fun. It's hot. It's hot, dude. I don't care. I don't know why you do that in July, but uh it's I, hot. I've played Very baseball hot. in the middle of summer as a catcher down in Florida. Nah, it's it can't be as bad as that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's going to be your first time playing here, right, for this uh, charity tournament, right? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't in the game last year, and um, they asked me if I wanted to do it this year, and it was a no-brainer. I'd love to be a part of that. So, Dude, we're going to win this time. I think the Raiders <laughs> won last time, right? I believe so. Yeah, we're going to yeah. win this time. <laughs> I say we because, you know, I'm a, not more of a Knights fan, but, you know. <laughs> no, but, absolutely. 
Um, okay, so growing up then, uh, play, you know, getting into hockey, what was your team, like your favorite team growing up? Did you have one? I mean, yeah, being from from Calgary, I was a big Calgary Flames fan. So um, I would always watch those games at home, um, you know, with my my parents and by the fireplace. I was kind of a tradition of us. We'd always watch a Flames home game. And um, yeah, so just big Mika Kippers, Kippersoft fan too. Um, yeah, kind of just grew up idolizing him and and loving the game. Nice. Okay. That's dope. What what about you guys? What did what your teams growing up? Uh, I wasn't allowed to have anything but Chicago teams oh, okay. for my dad. <laughs> so Blackhawks, Cubs, Bears, Bulls. Yeah. When we play Blackhawks now, it's Blackhawks are gonna get you guys. Well, yeah, probably not, but uh <laughs> I yeah. enjoy the passion. Yeah, so where I'm from, it's more college than, than professional sports because North Carolina, I mean, we got the the Hornets now. They've changed their names a couple times. And Michael Jordan owns them. That was a big thing. Um, and you got the Panthers. But other than that, there's no professional sports in North Carolina. Well, sorry, you got Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, but they're in, they're in Raleigh, so it's a little far from where I was. Um, so we did a lot of college. So you had UNC, which is uh, Chapel Hill. Because there's a lot of UNC schools, so when you say UNC, it's Chapel Hill, which is the big one. Uh, Tar Heels go to and Duke are like the big two. So, you're a Tar Heel fan or you're a Duke fan? Blue Devils, right? Yeah, yeah. go Duke. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's awesome. where we stand up and walk away. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I mean, for me, it was LA Kings, and then recently, since the Knights came over, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna jump ship, man. Um, and I, that's a kind of a bad way to say it's like jump ship, <laughs> but I was like, yeah, I'm li- I've lived here most of my life, might as well, you know, go Someone for it. Nah, gonna watch this and just frown at you. <laughs> I know, dude. They're like, <laughs> I so I did the same thing because <laughs> like I've, I've been working with you for, for years now, and I remember when the Gold Knights were announced, and I'm like, I right, listen, I know I'm in North Carolina, but sorry, it's like right when the, the Knights were announced, I followed and just been following ever since. So, I feel like there's a window there when there's a brand new team, like there's some leeway where you can be like, I'm going to support this team at its at its foundation. But not know? when you're like across the country and people are like, why? <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, now I'm here, so it doesn't yeah, matter. It all evened out. <laughs> exactly. I was preparing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, Logan, so heading into your amateur career, right? And this is not just all hockey, by the way. We're going to start deep diving into gaming because that's the one I'm excited about. But heading into your hockey career, why hockey, not any other sport? I mean, you're pretty tall, man. No, I know. I I, <laughs> uh, I just never really had, I guess, any other interest. Um, I, I just, I mean, to this day, I still love hockey, right? I think that's kind of the main reason why I'm still playing. Um, you know, obviously it's a career, but um, I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't actually love what I do. So I kind of have that privilege of, of loving my job, um, which is I'm really thankful for every day. And like I said, I never had a desire. A lot of my friends played lacrosse and and baseball in the summer, but I was just always kind of just, even in the summer, just back in the rank training and, and playing hockey. So I just, it always was just my main focus. Gotcha. That's paid awesome. off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it did pay off. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, you have lacrosse, you're mentioning lacrosse and funny enough, like we're about to have a lacrosse team here. If you, yep. The Desert Dogs. Yeah. So, I mean, would, <laughs> this is a different off, off topic question, but, would you did have you ever thought about it, you playing another sport? How it would be like, or are you just ho- hockey, hockey, hockey? I, I was gonna try out for the uh, the the football team here in Vegas, but I walk on tryouts if they ever need anyone. So <laughs> the Nighthawks, what, yeah, the Nighthawks. what, so, what, what position would you play? I don't know. Whatever they need. <laughs> <laughs> he okay, said. Yeah. He said, "I'm that good. Oh, they yeah. can just put me anywhere." Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed, but <laughs> hey. well, this is a good time to announce our new Nighthawks quarterback. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, so what obstacles have you had to overcome that made you a better player in your career field? Uh, I mean, um, I was always, I think, uh, kind of a late bloomer. So I've been kind of cut every year and every team, and I think it just. I was always so upset as a kid growing up, like wanted to quit. My dad's like, no, like just stick with it. And I think that's kind of, kind of made me the person I am today. Right. I mean, you're never always going to get what you want and you got to put in the work. And I think that's kind of what I learned from, from hockey. And and I use that to the real world, right? No one's going to hand you anything. You got to earn it. And that's kind of what I've been doing. Yeah. That's you, you say that because, you know, I went through that too. So I played travel baseball for 10 years and I played for school. I played for three or three different teams at one time. And I kind of hit that in college. When I got to college, I was like, uh, baseball. I don't want to spend my whole time playing baseball because when you do it in college, that's all you do. Like mm-hmm. you don't have time to do anything else. And so, what did you do to keep your mentality and keep that drive going? I mean, I mean, just love the game. And I, I mean, I was never uh, 
you know, destined to, to play pro, right? Everyone always told me I wasn't going to. So, I mean, I'd always go home and, and watch the NHL games. And I have a lot of friends who were drafted, so I'd watch their pro games. And that's kind of what I think drove me and, and seeing their success and, and seeing the the cool stuff they get to buy and all the money they're making and having fun and getting the travel. And that's kind of what, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to be get to the point where I can buy a house and be happy. So that kind of, you know, uh, drove me a little bit. That's awesome to hear, dude. That's, that's dope. dope. Yeah. That's actually awesome. I'm so I mean, so I guess um since you played here for a while now and we've done some research. So, what were some of the differences that you noticed playing Canadian and in American leagues? Is there any differences at all? Um I mean, coming from the Western League, obviously, I mean, everyone like loves hockey here and um I remember my first year I got invited to to Dev Camp in Vegas not knowing what to expect the the very first year they had a team and I actually that's kind of when I realized that this was where I wanted to the play um, was my dream was just because how, you know, beautiful the city is, you know, off the strip and, and on the strip as well. But um, I think, you know, Vegas fans are a new level. Um, I mean, Canadian fans are great and I, I love hockey in Canada, but I mean, Vegas is, I, I in my mind, the, the best place to play Yeah, um, for, the, for the fan base. And I'm not being biased. Um, <laughs> this is back when I was a free agent. I always told everyone I wanted to play here. My agent knew. And so this was kind of a dream come true for me. That's awesome, dude. I hope you're not going home soon after saying that. (laughs) (laughs) That's awesome, dude, because just experience it from the fan perspective, right? It's crazy. Um, I, you know, I can't imagine, I mean, you're playing on where all the people are just cheering. Right. And then when he's DJing, yeah, you got good music at <laughs> yeah. the same time. And yeah. yeah, it's good warm up music. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite moments, especially last season was, uh, you were, you were in, you were in goal and, uh, I could see you like, oh yeah. Jamming yeah, out. Yeah. I was like, yes, <laughs> no, it's, it's definitely like, it's a, it's a great atmosphere, like a party vibe, but you're playing hockey and the fans are into it. Music's loud. It's definitely a great atmosphere. Yeah. The fans love you. They love you. Do they? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I appreciate know, that. I love on, the fans. So yeah. Are you on Twitter a lot? Uh, I try to stay off it. <laughs> I do too. But yeah. when I'm on there, they there's a guy who says I'm not Logan Thompson is his uh, his Twitter handle. Yeah. And he has to fight to prove that he's not you. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, no. well, it's not me. So. <laughs> People love that guy because they love you. So it's, okay. it's awesome. He, yeah. That guy's a great guy too. Yeah, oh, okay. And I think Shout he asked. Yeah, he's <laughs> like he's like tell him that I'm not. Him. Yeah. <laughs> As I'm here deleting the Twitter <laughs> yeah. account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so. Uh, leading into the next side of things, what does it mean to receive? And I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong. Aldidge Bas- Baston Memorial Award. Yeah, hey, it was um, it was awesome. I, I don't think I've ever really won an award before in hockey. Like especially like I've won team awards, we've won championships back in in Brandon. Um, kind of surprised at the same time. I mean, I remember I got a text from Freddie, my goalie coach in Henderson, just saying, you know, congrats, you won it, and I just um, I didn't really know how to act. I, I was my first kind of ever time winning something that big and I'm just super excited and, and uh, like thankful that Vegas gave me the opportunity to, to be a silver knight. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, I, I we were struggling and we're like, how do we, we pronounce this? Well, I don't even know if I, I was pronounced the same it. way. No, yeah. you did good. You <laughs> did. Don't make me say it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, yeah. what, hopefully I don't butcher it, man. No, you're, you're <laughs> I, I think I was actually in the call and I, I was looking it up and I'm like, listen, I'm just going to spell it. <laughs> and we can figure out how to pronounce it. In a minute. Point to the paper. Like, yeah. This. You won this? yeah, did you, did you yeah. win this? That's funny. All right, let's uh let's take a quick sponsor break because we're halfway through already. Um, this meltdown podcast is sponsored by Twisted Tea. Keep it twisted, the number one selling hard iced tea. Find a twisted tea near you at twistedtea.com. I've had like three of them probably yesterday or four. I don't know. <laughs> I had a lot yesterday. Um, all right, Logan. So this is where things get interesting. This is my favorite part of the segment, dude. It's the gaming and lifestyle side of things. I'm very excited for this. So we understand that you're, you've played video games before. What games right now are you excited that are coming out? Um, there's a game. So I'm a big... I like playing PC games. Um, I think it's the, the day after coming out, like a big open world zombie game or something like that coming out. Um, kind of like division style, um, like it's that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. I used to play DayZ, um, so those type of games are what I what I'm looking forward to. The kind of the open world aspect ones. That's awesome. Have you played uh, Back for Blood? I have played Back for Blood. Yeah, I, I grew up playing Left for Dead, so Left for Dead one and two. So I was pretty excited about it. So when it came out, that's awesome. Um, there's also Dying Light too. I have that. Yeah, me and my uh, my roommate uh, actually we we both downloaded it on our Xbox. We played together. Yeah. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. That's awesome, dude. Okay, so what game did you grow up playing then? I grew up on the Halos, um, like Perfect Dark Zero. Um, 
all the NHL games, stuff like that, I think was um, Gears of War. Um, what else was there? When I, I, Gears of War was big when it came out. Um, kind of the, yeah, the early Xbox 360 games. I got, I remember when the Xbox 360 first came out um, and I bought, I saved up 350 bucks to buy it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, it's funny you say Gears of War because Gears of War is, War is like one of my favorite esports scenes. Even yeah. though, like I have never played the game, but watching them and watching the competitors, oh, it was hard. It was insane. Yeah, it's like yeah. the the atmosphere reminds me a lot of like Vegas fans. They are intense, and it's like one of the most intense like, really fan bases you have. In oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, oh well, yeah, the Gears of War scene's crazy, man. Like you ever been to an event, dude? It's it's literally the UFC and the WWE fans mix into it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had yeah, no idea. Yeah. I didn't have either. Dude, do you have fans behind it? Because, you know, for players, most of the time, they're behind the players watching them, you know, play the competitively. And they're just cheering like, yeah, they're doing th- saying things, bro. They're cursing up the storm. <laughs> really? I'm like, bro, where am I at right now? <laughs> I, I got to check that. Dude, yeah. we had one in Vegas a couple of years ago. And uh, by, I forgot, it was one of the casinos. But man, it was my first time experience. I was like, dude, I like this crowd, man. It makes me feel at home. No, absolutely. That yeah. sounds awesome. It's yeah. a tough game to get good at. Oh, no, it's, I was yeah. terrible at yeah. that game. Yeah. I wanted to be good and it just didn't happen. Yeah, I'd always play <laughs> online. I would get roasted yeah. online. Same. Yeah, people were good. I would just sit back. My, my buddies were good, so I'd just be like, I'm, <laughs> I think I'm I, down again. I think I just played the survival mode after. I was just yeah. going to play little horde modes, whatever they're called. Yeah, so... So, Joe's down again. I'm like, yeah, yeah sorry, dude. I don't, I don't know. It's not happening for me. It's like me and Warzone, dude. Just like, hey, bro, help me. Help you play me. Uh, Call of Duty at all? I do. Nice. Yeah, I love Warzone. I'm a big Warzone guy. Okay, so how often do you play then? Um, pretty much every day. I mean, Warzone, um, I'm actually on playing Siege right now. Um, hop back on Siege. Just the, I used to play it when it first came out and thought I'd pl- try it on PC. So okay. I, was, I was about to ask that because you, know, you mentioned the Xbox and my Xbox or PC, but... Yeah, I, I grew up on like Xbox and PS4, and then I, I always loved playing on the computer. So I, I finally, when I started making some money, bought a PC. So Do you uh, play on the PC with keyboard and mouse or controller? Keyboard and mouse. Let's yeah. go, dude. <laughs> you can't, can't insult a man like that. <laughs> hey, man. You never know, dude. <laughs> no, PC, uh, mouse and keyboard for that's, sure. That's no comment. Call out. Somebody yeah. was using a, a controller in Fortnite when he first started. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I started playing. <laughs> so I moved from PS4 to PC. And I played Fortnite on controller, so I didn't know any of the key binds. So I started playing controller on PC until I found out there's 14 year old kids building skyscrapers on me. So I was <laughs> decent at Fortnite when it first came out at building. And then once everyone got like insanely good at building, I was like, "There's no chance. I can't keep up." That's where I was yeah. at. Yeah, oh, this game, this game is great. I'm killing it. Yeah, yeah. And then it was an eight year old build a mansion, and I was like, "I don't know what to do here." And they get all the modded controllers. Yeah, and like, I can't keep up. Like, yeah, yeah. No, I'm too old out. for this. Yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude, my wrist is hurting trying to keep up. I'm just like, dude, I'm already 27. I'm just like, yeah, my wrist is hurting from playing video games, dude. Oh, absolutely. So, <laughs> all right, so Zach, you want to ask this one? No, this one's your favorite. Yeah, so. I know you play a lot of Call of Duty and Halo, so we'll, we'll kind of do it for both. What's your favorite gun and map in both games in the entire series? Ooh. I liked uh, Shipment, uh, Terminal was a good one, Rust. Um, those are kind of, I think Terminal, I think would be, I know they're bringing it back. Yep. Um, so I'm really excited for that one. That was the one that I played Infected on with my friends growing up all all the time. That was kind of the... It's like jumping on top of the plane. On top of the plane, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, awesome. know, yeah. yeah. And we'd just spend hours. Like, I mean, I was in like grade eight or seven and we would just stay up, wouldn't do our homework and just custom mode. And yeah, so that I was the best. Can't tell you how many times my dad yelled at me on Saturday night, go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I would skip baseball practice yeah. and weights and come home and start playing Modern Warfare. And my coach would text me, where are you at? I'm like, oh, I'm sick, bro. I had to go home. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm here with my friends with the little mic. Just hey, bro, get yeah. on the ship, dude. Where am I? I'm 13 and one. That's yeah. where I'm at. What are you talking <laughs> about? I'm drawing Moab yeah. right now, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, what is your favorite gun across all Call of Duties? That your go to? I think the the Call of Duty for uh, the M16. Okay. Yeah, a little blue tiger. That's a good Ooh. one. Yeah. 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 Little red that's, dot, yeah. That's different. I thought I was going to throw it back with the M40A3 from Modern Warfare 3. Oh, yeah. You, you mentioned M60. shipment. So we used to be so good that in shipment back in the day when you're doing 1v1s, you would spawn trap people. And the way you do it... Oh, you're one sit, of those guys. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe you just oh. get off line. I'm going to bed. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sit in the middle. And you went, by the time you reload, because you can, you can reload one bullet at a time. So yeah. you, you reload the one bullet. And by the time you're done reloading, you start shooting again into the spot. And that's the time period for the person to respawn. Oh, dude, you know what I used I used to do this all the time. I have a shipment. 
Um, the intervention, Modern Warfare 2. I think it was Shipment or Rust. No, Rust, Rust. Rust, Rust Modern Warfare 2, bro. Yeah. I knew every single spawn, every single one. So I will quick scope and wait for oh, the guy to. I just- hated people. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. The worst is going to be like a 2v2, and then like the other two guys knew you were, and then you just like, this is pointless. I, like, I used to throw nades across the map just uh, as, as soon as they just spawn. So I'll look on the left, I'll know he's going to spawn, then I'll know he'll spawn in the back. So I'll throw a nade prehand snipe him that he's getting naded. You were that guy? <laughs> yeah. Our friendship play- contract is terminated. <laughs> yeah. I used to play competitively for a little bit. So, yeah. you know, you have to understand where the spawns are, you know? Absolutely. The Modern Warfare 2 noob tube and cross the map. Say, yeah. 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 On Afghan, bro. Yeah. Just- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was uh, a great game. That really was a good game. Well, Modern it's coming back out. So I'm hoping they, they do a good job on it. Yeah. 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 yeah do you see there uh, with the new Warzone 2.0, they're going to have uh, Ru- uh, Rust, Terminal, Terminal. Yeah. like all the old maps into one whole Warzone map? Yeah. So I'm ex- yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, you didn't know about that? No, I didn't know that one. Dude. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of. Ex- I'll probably play multiplayer more if I think like search and destroy and all that stuff when it when it comes out. So is that your favorite game mode? Yeah, it's a little. People get people get heated on it, right? So <laughs> yeah. it's, it's fun. To, it's fun to always just sit there and just listen to people go off. Do you, are you the type of player that likes to troll people? And no, no. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. Like I like laugh, but like there's some people that like it. Soup like intense. Yeah, it's like oh god, all right. Like <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. my my favorite thing. I love search, search and destroy is my favorite game mode too. But in Modern Warfare Three, when they added the kill, the kill or the death ca- uh, oh, comms, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you hear people after <laughs> yeah. you killed them. The oh, best yeah. thing they yeah. ever added. Yeah. Yeah. That in proximity chat. Yeah, we yeah. were talking about that last night. And you can hear guys. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, in COD Four, they had eavesdrop. Definitely. And you could always hear. I don't know if you remember that. You could like hear people talking on their yep. mics yeah. back with these drops, and that was always fun too. Yeah, my great. dad actually used to yell at me because I played. We played search together, and it used to be me. This is the game we, me and my dad started with. We'd pass off controllers. He's like, "Why do you run that? Because like, you can hear him talk. Yeah. You know they're close to you." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, we, like, we used to play like cops and robbers with yep. that. So you like would hear people like close, and you can tell them to like. Yep. Get down and stuff like that back when it, oh, that's when it came out. Yeah, it and, was pretty uh, cool. Michael Myers. I think yeah, and Michael one. Myers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was about to just ask that, dude. Did you do dodgeball and terminal? If you remember that. I don't know if I ever did dodgeball. So you all have throwing knives. Yeah. And it's a team of four on four and you just throw the knives. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I don't know. Yeah, I ever did that one. That was yeah, fun. I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah that was good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that was fun too. There's so many game modes that everyone just came up with. Yeah. It's because we started getting bored of like multiplayer all over again. We're like, how do we make this interesting? Do quick sculpt matches, dodgeball, Michael Myers. You'd always need you'd always need like eight people. Like you yeah. have to have like a decent amount of friends, right? Yep. Like to get on with it. Yep. Exactly. So okay, Logan. So Getting in, so we're already in the gaming atmosphere at this point. Have you ever thought about? Sh- and and he's playing every day. Yeah, and you're playing every day. <laughs> so this is a perfect question. Have you ever thought about getting into streaming or esports at all? I, I mean, me and my teammates were like, and back when I was in Henderson, we we're like, oh, we should stream as like a joke, like, or not as a joke, but like have some fun with it. Like we're not like not trying to be like serious, like professional gamers. I'm like, oh, I'll be funny, but none of us really know what we're doing. So we're like, ah, we'll just. Do you uh do you know Dylan? D- uh, Dylan Ferguson? Yeah, I know Fergie, yeah. Yeah, dude, yeah. okay, so we actually, so he's a good friend of mine. So yeah. we actually played a little bit, helped him stream a little bit. He's a gamer. He's a, yeah. He's legit. Yeah. yeah, so he's Big legit. Time. Yeah. I, would, I, I have played with him a couple times, like, damn, you're, you're good. Like, he yeah, carried yeah. us in Fortnite yeah, one time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude, we've yeah, we played Fortnite Warzone together, and it's crazy. That's why I mentioned like yeah. maybe we can get something going. But yeah, <laughs> no, leg- I, was, I'm, I would love to. Yeah, I'm always like I think I'd be nervous though streaming by myself. I get like stage fright. So yeah, be, yeah, same here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You would think with our lines of work, it would be not that big a deal because there's thousands of people. Yeah. But no, man, it's just you and someone's in there. You're talking to them. Like I don't know who's watching. If yeah, they're not talking. Exactly. It's awkward. It's, yeah. a little, it's a little more intimate of a setting where Definitely. instead of being out in the ice, like. There's a big crowd. Cool. I can just zone out the the crowd, but when you're yeah. in, you're when I you stream, chat. I got to be with friends playing. That yeah. way, the conversation isn't just me. Exactly. Right? Yeah, I'm not talking to them. I'm talking. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. And well, that's the biggest thing too when it comes to streaming. It's like you're group, grouping up with friends is a lot easier. The more you do it, obviously, you start connecting with fans because that's that's where it's a one on one session. You know, sort of where they have real time to ask you questions. If you, hey, what about this? What about that? And you can answer them right away if you want to. So it's a little bit more. I think better. streaming in the last few years has gotten a lot better too. Because like when I first started streaming, there was like 30 seconds to a minute delay between what you did in the chat. So people would come in, ask a question, and then not wait 30 seconds because they didn't realize. <laughs> oh, yeah. And yeah. they would just leave already. But now it's, ignored. it's almost instant, man. You got like five seconds between when they ask a question, you answer, and they they hear you on stream. What do you guys stream on? Or like, uh, uh, Twitch. Twitch, yeah. yeah. Yep. I love it, bro. I I try. I stream. I started streaming every day, and I cut it back because I was streaming too much. So now I stream three times a week. Just 
laid off yeah. a little bit. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. excited now because I noticed my car has Twitch in my car. So I can you're going to stream on your, in your no, car? No, no, I can watch people <laughs> on Twitch in my car. While you're driving, bro. That's safe. <laughs> no, you got you to be in park. You got to be in park to, to watch it. Come on. 2002, I had a car with a TV in it. Like I had it, uh, I found it like a Black Friday deal. Mm-hmm. And then I found a buddy who could mod it to where I could put a, a Super Nintendo in there. Ooh. <laughs> like you cut some cables or whatever. <laughs> that was the most dangerous thing I've ever done. You had a red light playing Super Mario World. And I'm like, it's green. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. That was, it's green in the in the game, but not in the real life. Right? <laughs> yeah, that was not this smart. I, I didn't get into any situations, but looking back, that wasn't really the best idea. <laughs> well, speaking of cars and beyond the road, Logan. Is there any games that you prefer to play or even play on the road? Um, on the road, like usually Wi-Fi is kind of like tough sometimes in hotels and just on the like planes stuff like that. So I mean, I those I'll play like single player games, just like more like the NHL and, and NBA, um, just like the career modes stuff like that. So what console do you take with you on the road? Um, I have a I bought the the small Xbox, okay. the the newest, whatever the. What's it called? Xbox. Is the, it Xbox it's, S? It's Series S. Is yeah, the Series called. S. So it's just the, like the little one, easy to, to kind of pack up. So, Do yeah. you have one of those games? Have you seen that? The G A E M E M S. No. So it's like a, a suitcase or a book bag. Oh yeah, I got. I actually got. Was looking uh-huh. at those the other day, and I'm like, that'd be a good idea. But they've I just, got one you can put your whole PC in. Like, <laughs> oh really? Oh, yeah. It's can't be doing heavy. that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like 800 bucks. The. I could not be doing yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Yeah, taking your whole PC just to... Uh, I don't like moving my PC between rooms. Yeah. yeah. Well, well it's, so yeah, exactly. these things are really cool too because they you actually only need one plug. And yeah. So you're at the airport, you can plug it into the wall and that's all you need to play everything. Yeah. There's a lot of work. Yeah. 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 yeah it's just, Xbox, PC, bro. I mean, come on. <laughs> well, it's like they have different ones. So you have ones for your PlayStation, your Xbox, or the PC. Yeah, and, no, for sure. I, on the road, I usually just take my Xbox. It's, it's super little and yeah. two cores, right? So... Do you have a Nintendo Switch at all? Like a small one? I do. Um, I play the like Super uh, Super Mario Bros. Um, and then I just bought the, because I played it back in the day, the like the Strikers. Um, Ooh. Because I grew up playing on the, was it 60, uh, no, the Wii, I think it was. Okay. Mm-hmm. It had the original Strikers game. So that's kind of what I, I got the new one. So. How do you like it? It's fun. Yeah. yeah. Just, just back like a throwback game for me. I was like, oh, this is cool. Like back when I was a kid, I used to play this all the time. Yeah. Me too, dude. I, I haven't bought it yet. And I've seen, I've got to try it out and it's just, dude, I need to buy it, bro. But I've never, I never have the time to just sit there. And I also like, I was the type of person that I like to play with friends. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if I don't have enough friends to play on a team, it's like, oh, I'm playing against PC play or yeah. uh, computers, you know? It's like, eh. That's what I mean. It like sits in my living room. So if I have like teammates over, we'll play like Mario Brother, like Mario Kart or something like that. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Are you are you the best one out of the group from our car? Probably not. No, <laughs> well, absolutely. Not. He needs to come out to Saturday Night Speedway. <laughs> yeah. Do you you enjoy you enjoy Mario Kart a lot? I do. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, every Saturday at the arena, they do like a big this. Uh, I can't play in it because they they're so good, bro. But they do a Mario Kart tournament every Saturday here in Vegas. You can't you, if you can't play in it. I can't. Play it. <laughs> yeah. We got a bu- yeah. How about we both play? Yeah. <laughs> I had a little seclusions. We all three join at the same time, yeah. and we just throw everything at everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, dude. All right. So besides hockey, besides video games, right? What do you like to do to pass the time or even for fun? Uh, well, right now it's, I mean, we're kind of in training mode. So I just like to, you know, I'm at the rink from, you know, nine to 12 every day and then just kind of relax and, you know, hang out by the pool and, and just take it easy. And um, yeah, it's it's getting hot. So it's hard to hard to do a lot of stuff, right? With this heat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's a hundred and what, uh, four the other day. So 113 last oh, week. Yeah. Yeah, this is your first. Uh, no, this is your second year. In Vegas, this will be my right? second summer. Yeah, yeah. I spent uh, last summer here. So, how did you enjoy your previous summer compared to right now? It's good. I, I mean, it hasn't got too hot yet. But once it gets hotter, it's just a lot of pool time and sitting in the water. Yep. Do you ever go out like clubs or bars or anything? I, I do a little bit. Yeah. Um, I tend not to anymore. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, when you used to, do you have like a favorite spot on the strip anywhere? Uh, I like the wind. Wind was nice. Um, I actually always like to go to beer park just because it's kind oh, of yeah. outside and yeah, you get the nice spot. The view of the fountain. So it's it's more of a chill spot. So stuff nice. like that. I'm going to take notes here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, cool. That's awesome. So I guess I, I seen the nice car outside, dude. So is that your dream car? Uh, or do you have one? I don't know if I have a dream car. Okay. It's, it was definitely something in my budget. And uh, I was really excited. I like the look of them, um, the newer models. And I was like, yeah, it's it's a pretty fun car to drive. I was really excited to, to get it. Nice. Yeah, I think you two can bond over that. Yeah. <laughs> so I, uh, I have a C7, which is the body style right before that one. Yeah, no, absolutely. I don't like the C8s because I can't get a manual. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah. with a car like this, I'm like, I, I want to feel. You want a manual? Yeah, for sure. So while you're in the car, then is there a difference between what music you listen to on a day to day compared to maybe on a, before a game? Yeah, I mean, I have everything in my in my playlist from country to you know EDM to rap. But I think on on game day, it's more rock and or I guess it, it depends on the game day because I've heard all these songs so many times. So it's it could be rock, it could be rap, it could be you know little dance remix. Like it, it doesn't really matter, just kind of what I'm feeling that day. So nice. you have a favorite artist. On game day, like uh, just in general. Oh, in general, yeah. I, I love Drake. Yeah. Really yeah. nice. Yeah. Do you listen to his new album? I have. I've checked out a couple songs. I wasn't crazy about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's rough. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's I love lot. Drake though. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're at the pool, then that that's good pool music for sure. I heard it's a little little dancey for yeah. Yeah. It's yeah yeah dancey yeah. laid back. Yeah. yeah. I'm a big fan of Post Malone too. So I do like Post Malone. Okay, so it's I, like a Post Malone album. So speaking yeah. of Post Malone, did you see he just spent eight hundred thousand dollars on a magic card? I don't know what Magic Card, Magic the Gathering. Oh no, is the most eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred thousand. It was a Black Lotus. I didn't even know he was a Magic the yeah, Gathering. Yeah, yeah, he's Magic. big. Oh, okay. Damn. That's interesting. Yeah. All right, well, all right. So Logan, is I ask this on every podcast, and it's all the answers always different. What is your top five rap artists right now? Top, top five? Top Ooh, five. That's tough. And, and it doesn't have to be in a particular order. Right now or can you do right uh, now or, and in general? Or in general, in general. Uh, interesting. I, I mean, I love M- NWA. So that whole group gets like, I think they're timeless. Uh, Drake, um, 21 Savage, Post Malone, um, Baby Keem, I think is a good one too. You know, he's from here. Yeah, is he from here? I didn't yeah, know that. I think yeah. he's, him and Kendrick are coming here. Uh, yeah. I think coming, I'm uh, trying to. September, October, something like that. Yeah. So I'm trying to get con- uh, tickets to the concert for sure. We'll, we'll chat offline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I know a okay. guy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. And The weekend. I think The weekend's actually, I think he's pretty legit. So, that's another dope. Canadian. So, yeah. Those are all good. Li- that's a whole good list, man. Because that's a variety. Yeah, that's yeah, a variety. It's a, little, a little different. We've had uh, this almost every single time we've had Drake or Kanye. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Smile and wave, boy. Smile and <laughs> wave. 2000, 2006, <laughs> Kanye was dope. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, this is a question for you. Uh, is there any nicknames that you have right now or prefer like I think everyone calls me LT. I okay. think that's kind of my it's been my nickname since I was 17 and and just been, it's been stuck with me. So that's rough, man. I'm trying to find something to play for you. Like uh, you know, uh, Flurry's Flower and yeah. Leonard's Panda. I was like, what are we gonna like? I know, yeah. Everyone anything? just everyone's always been LT. I haven't I haven't heard anything else yet. Yeah. Well, what's, I think they what's the something? What's the meaning behind LT? Um how'd you get it? Uh, Johnny Quenvo back when I was in, in Brandon, um, I don't know who exactly it was. He's like, oh, there's a football player. And he, he mentioned the name. He's like, ah, oh, LT. So yeah, we're going to call you LT. So it's the first thing that came to mind. Nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and it's just, it's always been stuck. So. Okay. All right. Like, well, yeah, I know because like, uh, the Golden Knights always use the wolf emote. I, I think they did that because, um, so they wanted to use the, like the Lieutenant saluting, um, but then they're like, oh, well, everyone likes Wolverine because um, huh. his name's Logan. So we're going to go with the wolf. So I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, we'll oh. roll with it. I was thinking Wolverine. But we have a, a super fan who dresses as Wolverine. I think I've seen I was that. Like, I don't <laughs> know if we're we're going to make the right connection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I, oh, this is for you, Zach. You can ask that yeah, one. So, uh, being from the South US, uh, I watch a show called Letterkenny a lot. Yeah. And it's just the similarities like from back home and yeah. a lot of things. And I know you're from Canada. So I was like, one, you obviously have already seen it. Yeah. So what do you feel about it? Well, I mean, it, it's funny. Like the the two hockey players, one of them's from Calgary, um, where I'm from. Um, they're 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 funny. They're they're stereotypical hockey guys. They do a good job, and it's a really funny show. It's just, it's a good. I, I enjoy watching it for sure. I have watched all ten seasons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did a spinoff, I think, on it, didn't they? Yeah, so uh, well, I don't know if it's out yet. It's based off the of Shorzy. Yeah, Shorzy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. I, I have no idea what you guys. Oh, it's great. Yeah. It's it's on Hulu if you want to watch it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got some seasons. buddies who are like rave about that show. I haven't <laughs> seen it, but I heard it's hilarious. Hit or patter. Yeah. <laughs> you want to have a watch party with me? <laughs> We're gonna have to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> ten seasons. Yeah, ten, ten seasons. seasons to catch up. We get twisted. Episodes <laughs> are pretty. Episodes are pretty short. <laughs> yeah, they're, oh, okay. yeah. they're like twenty minutes or so. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. All right, so Logan, this is uh, heading into your pro career now. So, w- what is the pressure like from professional hockey to minor league or even college? Um, I, I kind of you know zone that kind of 
part out of my brain. Um, I think I always put too much pressure on myself growing up, and I think that's what always caused me stress, kind of off the ice and and worrying about the wrong thing. Um, you know, kind of now I just I go out there and have fun and just kind of play hockey and you know just worry about myself and and hopefully good things happen. And that's kind of been my mindset. And um, I'm gonna keep kind of building off that. You can't put too much stress on yourself and worrying about what the you know what people think and what management thinks and what you know. You just gotta play your game, and, and hopefully, people like what like what they see. No, definitely, dude. So, in baseball, we have a saying: it's ninety percent mental, ten percent physical. Does hockey have something similar to that? Oh, absolutely. I think uh, you know. I, I mean, obviously, there's the the physical aspect of it, and, and you know, it's uh, a lot to do in, in the game of hockey, and um, it's physically um, demanding. But I think uh, you know, definitely off the ice, it's mental for sure. You got to you know, stay off Twitter and and stay off those. There's always going to be people, um, you know. <laughs> critiquing you and, and not having nice things to say, right? So I think uh, the best part is to just you know zone that part out and, and just do you. And and uh, for my case, I still love what I do. So the, what they say doesn't really matter. Awesome. Uh, definitely, dude. That's do you, a tough hurdle. I, I, I try not to be on the internet because I'm like, people are going to hate the music. They're yeah. going to tell me this song sucks or this and that. And it's hard to not think like, I wonder if they're going to like this. Is this crowd going to like that? Are they going to like this? I hope they like that. I hope the managers like this. Like yeah, yeah. It can be no, like for sure. draining. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, as long as you do your best, I think, you know, if you're happy, dude, you know, why not? You know, who cares what other people think? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I We know it. about this, even from like a management esports side of things. We've got people critiquing us just based on what we do. Yeah. And like, we, we do things behind the scenes. Nobody really sees what we do. And we, we're constantly, y'all should have done this. Y'all should have picked this person up. Y'all should have. <laughs> it, it, like, uh, It'll hinder your ability yeah. if you let it if you let it wear on you. Yeah, that. Well, that's the bad thing is we can't really get away from Twitter because a lot of, like half our job is being on Twitter, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so it's, it's a whole different aspect too. I mean, social media it's a whole different beast, right? And then compared to all those super fans or whoever, right? I mean, you can tone it out, shut your phone off, but when it comes to our industry, our industry lives on the internet 24-7, you know? So we always have to, whether you're doing a good job, bad job, whatever the case may be. But, you know, I agree. I think you have to tone it out and just do the best you can and just keep pushing forward, you know? No, and everyone's opinionated, right? And yep. you get that. Everyone has their favorite goalie and favorite player. And, you know, you can have one bad game, two bad games, and it's all like, you know, get rid of them, this guy. Like, it's there's tons of stuff with hockey. And, um, you know, we know when we don't have, like, especially as a goalie, like I know when I don't have a good game, I know that this goal is weak or something like that and I'm going to fix it, right? And, yep. and people on Twitter sometimes can be a little, yeah, yeah. A little Do, too, too much, right? People on Twitter yeah. need to understand the first person that knows they've made the mistake is the person that made the mistake. <laughs> yeah. Do you, uh, so we have a, um, a uh, UFC fighter, part of our brand. His name is Eric Gonzalez. So he, when before a fight, maybe a month and a half before a fight, he stays off social media. Do you usually try to stay uh, stay off when you're during the season, or maybe in the playoffs, whatever the case may be? I'll like I'll I'll be on Twitter, and I mean not obviously like not like before a game. I'm usually like not on my phone. Like I'll send a text or two to my dad, and then just kind of use it for music. But um, I mean I'll be on Twitter now and just like that more to just see what's going on for around the league, like trades and signings. But like other than that, I mean that's kind of all I really use it for. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's best not to check it even like even before a game, dude. Like you know, yeah, put it away. Yeah, I yeah. just use mine for requests. Yeah. Want to hear something? Yep. Yeah, okay. Cool. I got it. And I delete. <laughs> I don't even keep it on my phone. On uh, most social media, I, yeah. I'll post and then delete it. Oh, really? I don't want to because you ever just open and then you look at it and you're thirty seconds pass. You look at it again. Like, why am I here again? No, I'll for just sure. Opening hundred percent. Okay, so Logan, who was your inspiration? Either growing up or in the hockey, whatever case may be. Who's your inspiration? Um, well, like I said earlier, I think Mika Kiprasov, just being the the hometown goalie for me, um, and you know he was loved by everyone. The fans loved him, and um, you know he was great. Um, you know I wanted to be like him growing up, and then I mean watching goalies around the league that I you know was fortunate enough. I mean, got like Flower. Um, you know I I grew up watching him and got to know him, which was obviously I think a dream come true. I think for a lot of kids that they had that opportunity, um, especially with how liked he is and humble he is and how hard he works. That's definitely someone I like to to be a role model or like I like to model myself after. So um, people like that, Carey Price and Lundquist and just like those kind of iconic goalies that you grew up watching. Definitely, definitely. I think that's, that's a great thing to do, man. I think looking not looking up to someone, but in a sense being the inspiration of saying, hey, there's a perfect 
model I want to become when I either get older or in the career path to choose, et cetera. You know, I think that's very important. So. And, and there's nothing that, I mean, I'm never going to be flower, right? And yeah. there's, he's only, he's one of a kind, but I think that there's always something you can learn from kind of each person, right? With Lenny, with flower, you can just take things away that what they do. And I try to, you know, take something, stuff that I've learned and, and put it into myself. So I'll be the best, you know, Logan that I can be and not trying to be a flower, just going to be Logan, right? So. Exactly. I, I still say, I promise there's some kid out there somewhere that you, that's your role, that you're their role model. Uh, there, there's somewhere out yeah, there. Yeah, there's someone out there to like, I want to be, you're probably going to watch this and be like, I want to be him. Uh, I, I don't be, know you about know? that. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> so, so you say <laughs> that, surprised. but the reason I say this is I, when I started streaming in 2014, I got a message just randomly a DM on Twitter uh, two years ago and they're like, hey, I don't know if you remember me, but I was in your streams back then. And I'm, they're like, I'm doing great now. Like I was going through a hard time and just, I'm like, dude, I, I'm nobody, <laughs> like, but I appreciate it. Like that makes me feel good. I helped one person as well. Knowing I helped one person made oh, everything worth it. And I think that's what's beautiful about the esports industry is that you, especially streaming, you know, it's like you don't know who you're affecting while you're talking. You, you could probably be playing video games, just talking to someone, right? But you'd never know who you're affecting. And then months later, even a year later, they said, hey man, because you did this for me or you talked to me. I'm here now, you know, you become their inspiration in a sense. So I think that's what's beautiful about the industry. I had a guy, uh, actually a couple people reach out to me like, Hey, I was going through a tough time a few years ago and I went to a bunch of games and your warm up mix was awesome. And it, I would just play it all the time when I was having a hard time. And I was like, it's, I mean, it's a, I put a lot of time into it. Like, it's just a warm up mix, but for whatever reason, it was important to these uh, couple people. And, uh, I mean, like I saved the message and showed my mom, I was like, this is, this is awesome. I just touched that one person and, and it made my month. I was like, this is insane. Absolutely. But I was appreciative to have that platform to do that. I was, I was surprised, but like, you know, you know, music's a, a good medium media to, to connect with and yeah, convey it's 16 emotions. minutes. So I was like, it was 16 minutes were yeah. that important. That's awesome. Man. I mean, sometimes when I'm bad, man, just if I, if I listen to the right song and the right song comes on the radio, all right, cool. Yeah. That, that's it. Absolutely. So, Heading into, I think this probably will be the last question for your pro career, Logan, is that um, what was it like playing from an international level compared at the ice hockey world championships compared to like a normal game or playoffs here? It's different. Um, you know, the ice is a little bigger, so it definitely makes it a little more challenging. It's it's wider. Um, over there, it's more, um, it was my first experience, um, especially playing against like uh, Switzerland or Finland. It's more soccer kind of vibes. Like, they get the chance going and it's really loud and it's awesome. Then it's not a bad thing. It's, it's different. It's, it's really fun. It was awesome to be a part of. And it's very similar to us. It's just, they're constantly chanting stuff the whole game. And it was really cool. Like it just gave me like when you watch a soccer game on TV, like those type of vibes. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. I, I've never been international experienced any of that. I've only, my fair, very first game is experienced here in the night arena. So like, that's my first ever game my very first game will be a golden knights game because i've never been to one yet <laughs> you oh. never been to any game not hockey no oh, oh. we'll take you bro yeah we'll, we'll two, you two hours away and like I, I, we didn't want to drive two hours i'll we'll get you in there this year yeah yeah dude. It's coming it's, oh, i'm like listen i'm going to this i'm going to this i'm going to this <laughs> so logan this is uh we're leading into the final segment of the podcast so this is from the pride so our fan base we call it the pride our logo is the line obviously you know Group of a group of line. So, all right. So we got a couple questions for you, or they have a couple questions for you. Any superstitions uh, or rituals before a game? No, I mean I kind of eat the same thing, like the the pasta, the fettuccine alfredo with with uh, chicken, um, and I have a coke. Um, that's kind of the same before every game. Um, other than that, I like to kind of keep it loose because I find when I used to have superstitions, if I if I messed up on one of them, I just got in my own head about it. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think the older you get and, and seeing more of the pros around the dressing room, they, they, they've done this, you know, 10 years and they just go and play. And I think that's kind of what you kind of learn from the older guys. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do. Definitely. Oh, I like the <clears throat> fettuccine Alfredo. But I, <laughs> it, 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 yeah, I, I know it's, it is heavy. I just, it's just, I love the, I love it so yeah, much. But when you're <laughs> out there, you know, saving goals, dude. You, yeah. It'll catch up. <laughs> yeah. to me. It'll catch up. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So, how does it feel? Like, there's a, a random question, but how does it feel to have the support of the fans here locally? Uh, it's awesome. I think the whole, um, you know, NHL fan base was pretty supportive of me last year. And, you know, I really appreciated that. And it, it means a lot. And, um, you know, I, I love Vegas and, and I love the fans. So I'm hoping that, um, you know, I can be here for a long time. Definitely. Have you felt the growth from Silver Knights uh, to Golden Knights in terms of the love of uh, 
the community and the fans? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, I mean, there's there's been some fans that I've kind of seen that felt like were there on day one uh, with me and Henderson, and, and now they're, they've kind of followed me to, to Vegas. And yeah, I feel like I've kind of grown up here almost in, in a pro uh, pro sense. And like I said, I'm hoping for, I'm here for three more years and I'm hoping for kind of many more. So awesome. definitely. Yeah. Nice. So with catcher's gear is really simple to take off. I mean, like it's two snaps and you've got gear off. Yeah. How long does it take to put on and off your, your goalie? It's pretty, it's pretty quick. It's all, it's all Velcro. I think I can get dressed in, you know, like seven minutes. I think if I really, if I, yeah, it's pretty quick. Wow. Yeah. I thought That's it would be at least double that. No, yeah. it's pretty quick. It's pretty quick. I can get undressed and. I can take like five, four minutes if I really, if I'm really focused. Yeah, awesome. I'm just pretty tired after games. So I take my time, but yeah. <laughs> what was the uh, first Golden Knights game like for you? Like, what was that feeling? It was cool. Um, like I said, I was the fans were were really loud, and I think just standing in the crease, you're just it's like a you know like a holy holy crap moment, right? Like, yeah, it's loud. You all the fans, you're finally putting on the jersey. Um, I think that's kind of the the only time uh, last year was I had like was nervous and, and had butterflies, and then since then it's just go out there and, and play. Nice. Yeah. yeah. No, it was cool. Awesome, dude. So these these last two questions from the Pride come from uh, actual amateur uh, hockey players growing up trying to be just like you, dude. So what's the best advice for new goalies? I think you just like, keep having fun. Um, you know, goalies are, are late bloomers, right? And, uh, you know, keep watching. I, I mean, growing up, I'd watch other goalies and, and slowly kind of, you know, see things that they're doing that you can, you know, take into your game and that's what I'm still doing today and uh, yeah keep having fun it's not going to be easy there's going to be lots of ups and downs and you're going to let goals in that's it's part of the game and you just got to worry about the next shot awesome okay so last question then what was your favorite WHL barn to play in crowd wise crowd wise <laughs> uh, Brandon was great um, Seattle had a really loud loud rink actually playing in Seattle um, that was cool for us we'd come to America and play there and they were awesome yeah, they did the white out. It was really cool. So I, I kind of, I'm kind of curious about this because in baseball, the Braves have the loudest stadium in baseball. Who has the loudest crowd in the NHL? Oh, I think it's it's easy. It's for sure Vegas, 100. percent I heard that. So, uh, unbiased, unbiased, 100 okay. unbiased. Yeah, 100. <laughs> I mean, it's I'm sure a lot of buildings right now with playoffs going on might obviously uh, be close, but everyone I've talked to loves coming to Vegas just because of the atmosphere. Do you yeah. have a, a favorite in the finals? I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, it's close. Tough one. It yeah. is a tough one. They're yeah. they're. It's going to be a close series. I don't know. It can go either way. I think. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Are you the type of player that looks at other teams like I really don't want to watch it because I'm not there, and I I rather just wa- I'd rather be there in that experience. Or do you like watching the playoffs? Um, I think uh, during the season uh, I don't really watch much hockey because I'm just around it so much like especially when I was up with Vegas I wasn't I found myself not watching as many NHL games opposed to when I was in Henderson um, but Rick right now with with playoffs I'm watching I'm watching the playoff hockey just because it's that's the most intense time of the year right so it's yeah. definitely exciting to watch you watch any other sports uh, no I watch the a little bit of basketball like I watched mm-hmm. the Golden State um, series um, recently but that's I was a big Raptors fan when they were when they had Kawhi so oh nice okay yeah. oh yeah Canada turn okay yeah, yeah that makes sense all <laughs> right I didn't think about that so this is the last segment uh Logan so it's we call it the heat check so these are rapid questions you can just pick one or the other or say uh you could pass all right okay so we have pizza or burgers uh pizza fries or onion rings fries Pepsi or Coke Coke sweet or savory sweet <laughs> Spot- yeah, Spotify and Apple Music Apple Music Apple or Android Apple. PC or Mac? PC. Ooh. Early bird or night owl? Early. Marvel or DC? Marvel. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Call of Duty or Battlefield? Cool. The new call the new battlefield? <laughs> yeah. God. Okay. Right. Yeah, easy one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> first person or third person? Uh first. Red or blue? Blue. Halo reference right there. Yeah. 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 Right or left? <sighs> Left. There you go. All right. So, at the last thing, any upcoming news that you want to share or have upcoming for 2022 or 2023? Uh, no, nothing that, uh, nothing exciting to tell anyone yet. Okay. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, where can our fans or anyone watching this find you? Where's the social media platforms, et cetera? Yeah. Uh, usually it's uh, Instagram, uh, Logan Thompson 48 is, uh, that's kind of my, my thing. Okay. Cool. Well, that's, that's it for us then, man. Uh, awesome. 
<laughs> well, you got you to hit yourself, dude. Yeah. There, there we you go. go. There we go. Well, Logan, thank you so much for joining the podcast. It was a pleasure having you. It was great. Hope you enjoyed your time here and uh, hopefully we can do it again. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of fun. Uh, thanks for having me. Thank you. Um, all right. Well, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the Meltdown Podcast episode number five. It's crazy that we're already on five episodes. Uh, this podcast is sponsored by uh, Twisted Tea. Number one, selling hard iced tea. Find your Twisted Tea near you at twistedtea.com. And thank you guys so much. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.